It don't matter how hot the girls are. If your music is lame, we can help with that, though. The Professional Adult Nightclub DJ Association presents Panda Off the Charts. Brand new tracks for the strip club industry to make your set sound fresher, more energized, and to keep things bumping. Here are your hosts, Danny Myers, Elon Fong, and Bob Chia Party. Bob and Lon, it is special guest time. And Bob, man, you did a you did a good job this month. Yes, you did. We got uh, Waylon Revis coming on here. You may recognize that name. He's the former vocalist of Mushroom Head. He's now got uh, a band called A Killer's Confession. Tremendous song that you've got, a rock song. So we're going to go ahead and bring him on right now. Waylon, you there? Yes, I'm here. All Thank right, you. man. Is this your first Hello. time on a uh, a strip club podcast? Yes, I really <laughs> never expected to see uh, anything I ever. I just, you know, I just, you know, never wrote a song that I could really see a girl getting down to. But obviously, I did, and I'm thankful for it. <laughs> well, you know, you know, Danny, with with COVID going on, all, all strip clubs are starting to open. Uh, I know your club opened, a few others, but uh, I just thought it'd be cool if we all got topless for Wayland, just so he gets, you know, a little bit of that <laughs> feeling. It's not quite the same. I understand. We don't have any of the girls with us. That's that's your other podcast there. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit. Sorry about that. That's something else. I apologize. Waylon, my bad. I'll put my shirt back on. I'm, yeah, you know what's, what's funny here is as I'm hearing your voice, and uh, you don't sound like you sing. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You have a little twang. Well, I have, I have said it for years. I, um, I speak like a broken wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest with you guys, my I am from North Carolina originally. Okay, and I am. I've been brought up by a really good family, and my father promised me he'd beat the skin off of me if I ever lost my accent. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey, I want to talk. I want to talk to you a little bit about this song, uh, "Last Chance," which, by the way, I got a chance to uh, play at Diamonds Cabaret last night in Dayton, Ohio, and it sounds really, really good. But uh, you recorded this uh, through the whole COVID quarantine thing, and I saw the music video to it, uh, where you're all basically in separate rooms. And I, I got to ask you, how is that harder to get into the energy level when you don't have your other band members in the same room with you? It, it is. It's extremely hard. Um, you know, it's like we had recorded the song prior to COVID happening. Okay. It, it, it was like a month or so before it all went down. We recorded the song. And we were planning on holding on to it until uh, the next release for the next AKC album. And then COVID happened. Our tours get canceled. Our fans are sitting in limbo. And we got this great song sitting here. It's like, what better? You're sitting at home. You know, let's give, let's give back during this time. And we had planned on going to Texas to do this big band shot. Because it was going to be actually the first um band video because like all of our videos have been kind of the other lyric videos or concept videos where it's like a little mini movie without the band in it and this was actually going to be the first one we were going to do with the band and uh, i called the guys up and i was like listen all of you got smartphones for stupid people put the thing <laughs> on you and play the song and i'm going to do the best i can to put it together really yeah. those really are that smartphone footage yeah, that's my problem. Wow. I, I got to tell you, I mean, I've seen bands do their quarantine thing where they're all like in the four corners, similar to what we're doing here on Zoom. Uh, but that that's some that's some good stuff you did, man. I mean, there's you did a good job. It doesn't look like a uh, camera phone at all. I mean, but of course, camera phones are getting so much better now. Well, that well, the only real camera we used was mine. And the other guys didn't have uh, actually access to it. And that was the Sony 4K. Uh-huh. And that was where I actually did me like singing there. And I had everybody else just film with their phone, send it, put it in the Dropbox. I dropped it into iMovie and just started piecing it together. Wow. And then I had Justin uh, Bonnets from Tala. He has been a star in all my other videos. He's played my son in the Numb video and the Shore video. And I was like, Justin, we got to have you do a cameo. So he's the one throwing cards, and he's the one that goes down the steps on his belly. Okay. And then on the toilet. On his <laughs> there you go. Alon, you got a question before we yeah. uh, play his song here? I definitely have a couple questions for you. So, A Killer's Confession, that's quite a provocative name for a band. So I'm wondering, yeah. you know, A, how did that come about, the name of the band? And then is it sort of a lead in for a character you're playing uh, for your songwriting perspective and as the singer? Uh, well, it, it, it kind of yes and kind of no. It's the name came, we were going to originally name the band Unbroken. 
that was going to be the name of the brand, band because of what happened with Mushroom Head and how I prevailed from that. Well, there's 50 other bands named Unbroken. We had a song <laughs> called A Killer's Confession. And uh, it, the Tom Hazard from EMP was the one who's like, hey, Waylon, just name the band A Killer's Confession. Okay. You don't forget it once you hear it. And it's kind of like, everybody's like, oh, it's kind of scary. It's kind of abrasive. And it's like, you really got to think about what it's saying. It's admitting something. You can kill a lot of things without committing murder. Mm -hmm. And sure. that's really, it's kind of that don't judge the book by its cover. You know, it's like, it's a it's an abrasive name, but the name's there to get your attention. I want to know cool. if you can kill COVID. <laughs> <laughs> now, here, honestly, guys, I was at a guitar center maybe three hours ago to get my new speakers for my studio. I They had three people in the store, and that's all they allowed. I had to wait for an hour and a half outside to get in in Florida. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, I sit there the whole time, and I'm praying to Allah, Boo, uh, <laughs> or, uh, I mean, yeah, Daniels. I'm going down the list, making sure I'm getting the right guy and the right numbers. I'm like, can you please let this in? Because I'm going to have a stroke out here sitting in the speakers. Oh, very good. Um, you ready to play the song? I can't wait to hear it, man. Let's rock. Okay, let's do this, man. Like I said, I got to hear it last night. Well, I got to hear it a week ago, but I got to play it last night. A Killer's Confession. This is called Last Chance. Show me I am begging down on my knees. This is my last chance. This is my last See all the words that you want to say At the end of the day will it resonate With the lies and the truth that you try to fake My beliefs don't away You can run but it's all inescapable You can try but I don't think you're capable Of a smile cause I know that you're miserable back the mask You keep on waiting for your bed to find you I know it's hard to see the light behind you Is it possible? Show me. Well, I want to first off say I've got an entertainer named Lexi, and I call her my rockologist because I send everything to her also because she's just uh, really good at analyzing things. And she told me that was a very, very solid track. So from an entertainer standpoint, very, very solid track. She likes it. I like it. It worked well for me last night in the club, and uh, I look forward to playing it again when I go back in tonight. Uh, let me go to hey. Alain Fong. Yeah, man, dig it. Definitely, definitely. Love the dynamics of it, too. The uh, soft, loud dynamics in it. And... Uh, Kind of cool. The I don't know if I'm I'm hearing it right, but the, uh, in the verse and stuff. Now, did you use uh, some electronic drums and program it, or was that a live drummer? It, it's it's both. Yeah, it, I like it. Got a okay. little trap beat underneath it, yeah. and uh, we've been we've been experimenting with that uh, for about a year now. We started the first song that we did it with the trap beats was uh, actually reanimated, mm, okay. and, and and a lot of fans were like actually confused by it. They're like. <laughs> So is this like a new style? Is this like trap metal? Uh, and I'm just sure. Like, yeah, and it's <laughs> just being, it's taken today in the modern like what's really going on, and not trying to put a uh, trying to, not trying to be dated anymore. Yeah. You can't, I, Go ahead, go ahead. That's where I was going. I said, you know, I like the combination of the two. I, I myself and an EDM producer and stuff. So I was, I'm like, was that really what I think it was? And then the guitars <laughs> kick you're in, not. your vocals, even your. Um, uh, the melody and the rhythm of your verses were, you know, very on the beat, more like a dance track rhythmic singer versus a free flowing rock singer who's kind of just making it fit in. Right. So uh, I dig all that. I, I think it's a cool combination of sounds and styles that I definitely think you have to do nowadays, you know, to be like you said, to be modern and be relevant. Uh, great track. I love the guitars on it. Very cool track, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bob Chia Party from StripJointsMusic.com. How about your opinion? 
I'm, I love the song. When I first heard it, like I said, every Friday, we, I, I get 6 a.m. in the morning, I'm up and I'm listening to every song on Spotify and any, any new playlist, uh, new rap, new metal, new music Friday, whatever, you know, all the lists. And it takes me almost two hours. And uh, I usually wind up with a dozen songs that I feel are really good strip club songs. And this is one of them that stood mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. I love that it's so powerful. At the same time, the vocals are very seductive. And you know it's it's got a lot a, a lot of passion and a, and a lot of uh, intensity to it, um, and it's getting a good reaction. We got some of our entertainers are going to be uh, making videos to it, so uh, look out for that. You know, good. There's social media, so uh, <laughs> it's all good. You know. I need to ask my wife if I'm allowed to watch that. <laughs> all right. Well, she she can uh, preview them for you. That's yours. That's she can be the editor. You know. She's she can laughing. preview them. Right here, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> she's just, she's gritted. <laughs> oh, my I, like, seriously, guys, thank you so much. I never thought that, that I would ever be in a position to like, like, because I just never thought that because you don't really hear rock songs in like, unless it's like a uh, uh, Dragula or something. Because right. because Rob Zombie always has have that that disco dance yep. feel, and even though it's hard, it's got that. But I just never expected that here's something I've done in this position. So it's amazing to me. I'm thanking all of you guys. So I'm, I'm glad you really enjoy it. And I'm glad that you are all saying the same thing. You're saying the song's deep and it really is lyrically. Mm-hmm. Like it, 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 there's a truth to that. That's like, I don't really want to get into about what it's about, sure. but like there is a real um, truth about that song. And just like with all the killers confession songs, there's mm-hmm. a, there's a deeper meaning. And, I'm, and a lot and of, a lot of the best songs. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. And it's not about me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, a lot of the best songs have a deeper meaning and they're sort of glossed with the dance beats or, or sounds. And like, look at, uh, you remember the song Apologize by uh, One Republic was about suicide. Yes. But, every, but you know, you don't, you'd never think it's too late to apologize. It's all like, you know, sing songy. Oh, yeah. Really, it's a deep song, right? Yeah. It did, so. and, and, and that's the thing with, with the Killer's Confession since being in Mushroom Head, I've grown into that. I'm doing more of the like you know i've got a great platform to put some like really you know whether it's hooky or not i still want to put something a little deep and like you know a little food for thought you know yeah. it's like you, you're like what did he say there you know, you go back <laughs> and, it and, and I, I, I don't know if that might be coming with age too that i'm just trying to sneak in something you know that's actually good for you <laughs> i i just had a Absolutely. thought as i listened to your voice again and the comment i made earlier i said you know you don't sound like your voice because uh, you know when your singing voice and your speaking voice are different and with what you grew up uh where you grew up and with your father's influence were you named whalen for a reason <laughs> 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 yeah oh brother is willie no ah, kidding! Ah, that's funny. Oh, oh my God! Somebody's dad likes country music. Have you ever been to Outlaw Luke and Bach, Texas? Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> my dad called me when I was in college when Waylon died, and I had oh. never heard. My, my father was like the typical Southern gentleman, never seen him cry, tough, worked every day of his life, and the only time I ever heard him cry was the day Waylon Jennings died. Wow. I was wow, just man. like, are you kidding me? Because I thought, like, Grandma, something bad happened. My brother, nope. Boy, your name's Hank died. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, well, now I got to cry. He's going to get mad at me. God. Yeah. Oh, God. There you I, go. And I was in college, and I remember leaving the class because my dad, like, called me. Like, this is back in, like, 2001. Mm-hmm. And I was in college. 2001, I leave, I leave the, uh, uh, the classroom because I mean, my dad never called my cell phone and I mean, it just kept ringing. I'm like, I, I know something's going on. Uh-oh. And I get out there and he's like, and he's, I mean, he is sobbing. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. uh, and I'm like, daddy, what's wrong? Your name say died. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> Waylon Jennings died today. <laughs> oh, I hate to laugh, but that is, you know, kind of a, it's a good story though. Yeah, it is. It is great. Um, any thoughts of a tour or anything in the works here? Any, are you, I know we got to get through the COVID stuff. Well, actually October. Really? Uh, yes. October. What's, what's it start hunting? Seven. October 7th to the to Halloween. We're actually doing, uh, like four weeks with uh, Combi Christ and King 810, and we'll nice. be doing like pretty much South, Midwest, and uh, Northeast. Uh, you know, yeah, and that's where we're going to be going out. And uh, thank God I'm dying. I was like, I, I miss the stage so bad. And, mm-hmm. and, and this is a love hate relationship. You hate to leave, but you love to be there. Yeah. 
It yeah. really is. It is. Even my wife, she's like, she's like, God, we got to go on tour again. And then the next day, I can't wait to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and because uh, like we're we're a family business, my son plays drums. That's awesome. um, oh, really? Yeah, uh, my, my son Morgan actually is the drummer. He's the baby of the band. Oh, and he's like he's 24, and he actually is just he's an amazing drummer. And that kid, I'm trying to teach him right, you know. Like, now, was he named after Morgan Rose? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shinla, I'm sorry. Mom I just figured here. Morgan and drummer, and you know. <laughs> sorry, mom. <laughs> no, we don't want to. We, you know, he might be listening. We'll, we'll just keep it. No, oh no, no. my goodness! He said he was named after the mud flaps on the back of the truck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, is that is that tour? Uh, those dates are they posted anywhere? Any where, where can people follow you? Is you got a website? Is it on your uh, socials? You can go. You can find the Killers Confession on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, you can actually go to wakeupmusicrocks.com. You can find a lot of information there. But if you really want to find our tours and stuff just go to a killer's confession.com okay awesome. very good very good alon any final questions before we cut him loose no man just best of luck with the tour hopefully the country opens up enough where we, you can go do that and get back on the road and get live on stage again please god i guess like you know you, you don't realize how much you you your passion you have for something until it's truly taken away mm -hmm. and, and i mean not like you can you know you walked away from it no like when it's like Take you it. can do it but you can't <laughs> And it's just like, it's the worst thing in the world. I, I don't want to, I want this to be done. I want everybody to be safe, you know, but, you know, I want I want I want people to be able to go around each other and not be afraid they're going to die. Mm -hmm. and that's like, that's my heart really is reaching out. It's like, God, I just want everything to go back to normal and, and let people start interacting again because we might appreciate it more. Mm -hmm. I, I know that feeling you're talking about because I want 83 days without seeing a boob. Oh <laughs> 83 days bob shia party this is on your up on your site um which is strip club uh, strip yeah, club it music is. it is strip choice music strip choice music registered djs if you're not part of his system oh <laughs> if you're you not go. part of his system uh, make sure you sign up man it's free promotional music you can grab that song and many others uh bob you brought us an outstanding guest here today with waylon so i thank you for that as well well, then thank you to Waylon for, for joining us. Yeah, Waylon, we're going to follow you on socials. Hopefully you'll follow us back, uh, release the show, and we get it out there. And, uh, and, and DJs, strip club DJs, play this song and chart this song. Put it on your charts. Let's see if we can get it on uh, next month's rock chart and possibly even the Panda Top 20 chart. So, um, you know, get out there. Listen to it. Waylon, thank you again so much. Thank you for having me. And all you DJs, listen to this man. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, Waylon. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Panda Off the Charts. Presented by the Professional Adult Nightclub DJ Association. Now you know what's new. Get a full list of tracks from this show and previous shows at pandaoffthecharts.com.